There's something else I'm, I'm messing with here too, and it kind of it's kind of related. Um, we'll jump on the, on this thing and run back there, and I'll show you. This is the engine run stand run stand that I had that Chevy engine on that's in the Rambler over there now, and I put it on here and cranked it, ran it, it made adjustments, you know, stuff like that before putting it in the Rambler. I loaned this to Jeff and I gave Jeff the old engine that came out of the Rambler and he put it on here and he did the same thing when he was building his. Now I need to put it someplace out of the way until I need it again. It doesn't necessarily have to go inside even though it's got wheels on it, you know, as long as they don't dry up and rust together. That's about the only moving part on it to be concerned about. And, you know, I was looking at different places that I could put it at and I walked back here and this I got a spot back here where I normally leave the tractor plow blade uh, right to the right at the base of that tree you can see there's a lift bar which is the kind of thing I would use to lift that thing off the trailer and I used to put my tractor blade my scrape blade right here but it, you notice how this is all grown up in maple trees and stuff and I was thinking well if I brought the tractor down here with the scrape blade and I backed it up in there and scraped this out and kind of leveled it. Uh, I don't think this is a tree stump. I think this is just a piece of a tree that I cut. And there is a rotted out stump there, but I might could smooth out a little spot. And then I could pick that thing up with this and sit it down in there, uh, well out of the way. And if I ever need it again, I could come pick it up with the tractor again and take it out of here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is bring the tractor down here scrape this all out of the way and then I can uh, sit the tractor blade down somewhere and use this bar. Um, I had another thought about trying to lift that without taking the blade off the tractor. That would be more handy just because I'm more likely to use the blade again before the lift bar but then on the other hand I've got an engine back in the banjo shed that I'd kind of like to move and put over here in this garage so I may use the bar. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. I might could move this down to the back, bring up the scrape blade, chain it to this, and then lift it, the blade and that and everything, and drive down there with it. I might could do that. Let's go get the tractor. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can make happen along those lines.
I'm going to swing this blade around so I can pull some dirt with it. Right now it was smooth pretty good, but it would pull better. It would cut the dirt better if I switch this blade around. By the way, that nice new tractor seat. I loaned this tractor to Bobby the other day and he put that seat on and drove it back over. Well, Rusty Acres gave him that seat. He said, you need that seat more than I do. Because he sat down on my seat and sitting out in the hot sun, this black metal, he burned his legs. His seat is painted this color gray. So he said, yeah, you need it more than me. So he gave me that. I, Tried a little bit to say, no, that's yours, you keep it. But, you know, arguing with Bobby's a little bit like arguing with a fence post, you know. Don't get you anywhere. So, especially on something like that, you know, he's, he's going to he's gonna do it his way. He don't care what you say. Plus, it's hot. We love him that way, though. So, I must have got to mosey down here and swing this around and probably push that uh, lift blade uh, out of the way and then... Uh, back down in there and pull some dirt out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Sun's shining, it's kind of hot. Hadn't put my hat on yet. I probably need to keep the sun off my head, but sometimes a hat just makes you hotter, you know. Hard to find a real cool hat to wear. I got sweat in my eyeballs already. One of the joys of living in Dixie is you get to, you get to, you get sweat in your eyeballs, whether you like it or not. I need to push that choke on in. Let's sit y'all over here out of the way somewhere so I can get both hands on the wheel. Pay a little more attention to what I'm doing here. Mike could uh, borrow a chair. I could sit y'all on over here too. This is a chair that I dug out of the dumpster up at the old coke plant. They didn't want it. So I said, well, if you don't want it, I'll take it.
did pretty good job uh, it got me thinking what I've actually kind of done is built a little turnaround where you could I could come down through here with my golf cart or my lawnmower or maybe even my tractor I just did it with my tractor spin around come back out now I've got a what looks like a maple tree trying to grow up there I think that's a maple tree I had another one here but I, I didn't like it where it was, but I might leave that. If that is a maple tree, I'd love to have it. I like maple trees. I'd like to have one. So, I might leave that one alone. Let's see what it does. These are, I said maple. I'm sorry, not maple. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Those, those Georgia trees with the big, big leaves and the white blossoms on them. Uh, magnolia. That looks a little bit like a magnolia. That's a maple tree, and those things, they sprout up everywhere, and they're kind of like weeds. In fact, all these things, all these green things are popping up out there is all maple trees, or hollies, or something that I'm not really necessarily wanting to encourage. But I wouldn't mind having a magnolia tree. In fact, I wouldn't mind having one up in the yard where it could be seen, but I doubt it's just gonna do real good next to this big, Next to this big maple here, it's probably took over. There's a lot of banjo necks in that tree. Nice and straight. Um, but I'm not the person who could mill them down and dry them. And if I was, I would. So, what I might do, instead of what I was thinking about doing, is take that engine stand down here. See, I've got a, I've got a space back in here where I had that. Uh, this is a finished mower that Charles Dyer gave me. I need to get it out and oil it up and uh, put it on my tractor and use it. So, but I've got a little space between me and the uh, core line here. Let's see where is the core line exactly. See that red tree right there with a the stripe on it. And there's another red tree with a stripe on it there. So right here where I'm standing, see I, I could put that, I could put that engine thing right here. I should have, I should have drug over this holly tree again two or three times and drug it out. Yeah, I might, I might bring a tractor back down here again. Take another swing at that. Well, I got my blade on it. Hmm. 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 Yep, I might do that. Might do that. I think I'll do that. I 
could take another run down this way, drag my blade around. I'm going back in there. Let's see. Put y'all somewhere where you can see me back there. In case I kill myself. You know, my granddaddy got killed with the tractor. I always kind of keep that in mind when I'm on one. I don't want to follow family tradition, you know, get myself killed on a tractor like my granddaddy did. That wouldn't make, that wouldn't make anybody happy. That's not the kind of tradition that I need to, you know, carry on. <laughs> What I might do is set that blade right over there. I could drop it over the edge of that. That'd make it a little bit easier to sit. Well, I think I'm still, I'm still clear of the core line there. If I sit it right there, it'll be out of the way. I'll bring my little stumps over here and put it under the back of it. You may notice there's another engine stand sitting over there. <laughs> I've got an engine in the banjo barn. I think it don't need to be here. It could be up there. This is an engine that Charles Dyer. Is it Charles Dyer gave me this engine? I think it was, yeah. I wanted to have it someplace where I could take a look at it, flip it over, check engine numbers, see what what kind of crank bearing it's got, whether it's a four bolt or a two bolt. I got some old towels down here I can use. Oh, old towel pretty handy if you can sweat in your face. Sometimes the sweat gets in my eyeballs and makes me just about blind. Oh look, I can see again. <clears throat> oh joy. <sighs> Y'all sit here and I'll go get that uh, those stumps.
Sometimes I just have to sit down a minute. Okay, she's all hookered up, ready for me to go get that thing off that trailer. I'm just gonna rest a minute. Well, I need to run out the house, get a glass of tea too. I can do that. Lordy mercy. to do is pick this up with it kind of balanced so that it don't chip up. If I can keep it kind of balanced I can lift it off of there and go sit it down without making a huge big mess out of things. We'll try it. It's quite hot here. I got kind of a little overheated while ago. I went up and cooled down, drank some tea. I actually went into the pool Hey, on hot weather like this, man, that pool's a lifesaver. Well, that ain't exactly what I had in mind when I said I was going to lift it up nice and straight. Those can be easier to oil the wheels. <laughs> well, I got it in the air like this. Oh, <laughs> joy. Let's go. Uh, we'll sit it back here somewhere. Trailer. I 
need to go to town and I want to carry a couple of things and pick up a couple of things. One of the things I want to carry is that axle that we were looking at before and uh, it won't fit in the in the Toyota unless I make some kind of special arrangements with the back seat but it will fit in this one I guess I could put the back seat down it would probably fit in the back that way uh, maybe maybe I should just do that it's probably easier I'd have to take out the daisy seat uh, see I'm wanting to put this trailer back down in there where it goes so let's I think I can work around this golf cart okay so let's uh let's take this Sort of pooped me out this morning. I think that uh, it's just not as strong as it used to be. Plus, the old hot heat gets to me. Well, there's a few things I'm glad I did in my life. I'm glad I don't do them anymore or have to, but I'm glad I drove a truck enough to get the hang of back in the trailer. And that's a handy skill to have, uh, whether you drive for a living or not, you know. It's nice to be able to back a trailer into some place when you need to, especially if you're going to try to do any work. And they taught me that. They taught me that. And they taught me to drive. I was lucky. I got a good guy. Uh, got a good driver training. The company I work for. I didn't know nothing when I well I started loading trucks and they taught me how to drive one. Um, it, was, it was a process I remember in great detail what it took to learn to back the trailer and get it where you wanted to go. It was, specific kind of thinking that you have to train yourself to do. Probably like flying a plane or a helicopter or something. You know, there's, there's certain things that if you know, you learn how to do them and you have that. And then you can use it if you ever need to use it. Back and trailer like that. Yeah. I could just sit here for a while and enjoy this air conditioning. <laughs> uh, after I get this unhooked, Throw that axle in the Toyota and go to the parts store and find some nuts to go on the end of it. I got a spare tire for my lawn tractor, John Deere. He's up there at the tire place. They said it'd be ready by lunchtime. And I need to go and mail. It's kind of a long story about me. I bought some I bought some wheels off Amazon. They're supposed to be wheels that don't go flat. They said you could put them on the front of your lawn tractor. Well I got them. And first of all, they the bearings didn't fit the axle the way I thought they were going to. And secondly, it didn't have bearings. It had little bushings instead of bearings and a grease fit. And they said, well, just pump a full of grease and it'll be fine. And then it wasn't, it wasn't like real rubber. It was like plastic rubber, the kind that would slide across grass. It, the, the treads weren't very deep and the wheels weren't very thick. And I thought, man, if I put that on this tractor, it, it's not going to take no time at all to tear these things up. They're not going to work right. I might as well, you know, before I ruin them, send them back now, which I did. I got them in the box. I'm sending them back. And I dropped my old wheel and tire off at the tire store and asked him to get me another tire and put on there. So hopefully he says that'd be done by the time I get back up there. So... 
So I'm going to drop the tire. I'm going to pick up the tire. I'm going to get a, a, a bolt, a nut to that axle from the Nampa store. And I'm going to drop that other, you know, other tires off to be shipped back to Amazon. And then, what am I going to do after that? Rusty Acres is going to be coming here in a few days. Uh, I guess first thing I'll do is put that tire back on the mower so I can get it out of the garage. I might cut the grass with it because it needs to be done. And then I might set that axle up in there. I'm going to have to weld the spindles to the axle. And I might be cutting that axle to make it fit that trailer. And I'll be taking the old axle off. And I figure I'll use that old axle for something. I don't know what, but I might make a little rigged up low to the ground trailer. You know, and I'll give you just for just for moving stuff around, like for example, I've got a I got a barrel in there and I've been thinking about making a compost barrel and I was thinking, well if I had a little close to the ground trailer that I could, you know, slide that up on the back of and roll it around, take it down there and park it in the woods and bring it out when I needed to get stuff out of it, you know, that'd be cool. There's stuff like that. Just, just sometimes it's just handy to have a kind of a trailer. Not necessarily even a roadworthy trailer, just something that you can use around the yard in case you need to move something heavy. Like I got that engine stand is in the garage and I want to get it out and bring it down here. I suppose, I suppose I could leave my trailer, leave my big trailer hooked up and do that, but see, in order to do that, I got to move the tractor and move the boat. Always something. So, yeah, like that, you know. So, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and unhook this thing anyway, and then we'll go to town. I might eat a, I might eat a tomato sandwich. I like me some tomato sandwiches, and I got a couple tomatoes off the bush there. So, and hit that tree there. I hope I didn't break any lights or anything. Sometimes it goes that way. All right then. The exhaust on this truck smells like a Cadillac convertible. I don't know if you know what I mean, but some of y'all knows what I'm talking about. It's, it's bitter, it's acidy. It smells real acidy. Not like regular exhaust. Like it's newfangled exhaust, you know. Where they run not, they run ethanol gas through the Cadillac convertible. It comes out smelling funny. That kind of that kind of deal. Alright. 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 Let's go park this somewhere where the trees won't drip on it. I don't know, I'll park it over there. Park it over there in the, the camper shed. Honey, everybody said the other day, why don't you park your, why don't you park your truck over there in the shade in the camper shed? And I said to myself, hmm, why don't I do that? That's a good idea, honey, baby. That's so hot. Good idea. So I'll do that right now. Oh, uh, park in the shade. That way I don't have to worry about the stuff and the trees dropping onto it and eating the paint off of it and such as that. That pine tree rolls in That'll eat the paint off your car. I like my little golf cart. It's handy. It saves me a lot of walking. That's a good thing. I need to polish this windshield. I, I washed it with some window washer the other day and that made it fog up. 
and I got to reading where you can wash plexiglass with toothpaste. And I need a little, uh, I've got a buffer somewhere. I need to buff it with toothpaste and get it, that, gl that, that film off of it. That's on the list of things to do. I don't ever seem to run out of things to do. No, I don't. Well, let's get Bobby's chain out. That way when he comes for it. I could run it over to him. I might do that later. I just remembered why I was going to take that that other big car because I got a piece of metal out of the coat plant I need to bring home. I'm going to go ahead and cook it off again and think about it before I do anything else. I might go ahead and eat that tomato sandwich too. Hmm.